So I'm going to start on the top shelf where I have some of the smaller things and I'm just going to take them off the shelf and show them to you. So uh, all good block centers have to have people and um, I just have these little bins. It's chock full of people though, right? So I have all kinds of little people. I seriously just find these at garage sales. You can get super fancy ones from Lakeshore Learning or wherever in the world you shop for teacher stuff. Um, but I've collected these at garage sales, yes. So I just have a whole bunch of them and the kids, they, the thing I like about these is they stand up to years of abuse. Some of these things are probably older than some of you watching. Like these things can take a beating, you know? <laughs> they get used by tons of children every single year and they are still going strong and you can pop them in the dishwasher if you need to. So yeah, they do really well with little kids. Um, I have the labels. If you need labels, I created a free set for you. Yes, free. If it's free, it's for me, right? And Tom will drop a link in the comments for you below with um, the link to our preschool teachers are superheroes. That's our free Facebook group where you can go and download the labels. We have all kinds of freebies for our members. This one is editable. So if you teach in another language or you live in another country and teach in that language, then these are fully editable. We have an editable PowerPoint and an editable PDF. So you can edit those those names to match whatever it is that you would like it to say. So I have um, the labels over there in the Facebook group for you. And there is also a picture and a description of each center in that bundle for you as well as a freebie for our members. Our Facebook group now has more than 30,000 members. So people, and the reason we want people in our Dramatic Play Center is because people talk, right? And one of our main goals in any early childhood classroom is to develop oral language skills. And one thing I found with little kids in the block center is that when you add people, more talking occurs because people can ride in vehicles, people can drive uh, buses and kids can get on buses and people can talk and they start giving lending voice to the people. So we want people in our dramatic play center, I mean our block center, sorry. <laughs> I'm looking across at my dramatic play center here. We want children to be talking and engaging and developing those oral language skills in the block center. So that's one thing. Um, and then here I have, you can probably see this in the background, I have this little basket. I think I got this little little container here from Walmart last year. And then I got all these little clipboards from the dollar store. They're kind of half size. And um, I just stock them all with paper and there's pencils in there. And they can draw um, blueprints or designs of the buildings that they make in the block center. They can write notes, they can, um, I had a kid one time who drew a seating chart for the bus because he rode the bus and they had a seating chart on his bus and so he drew a seating chart for the little fake bus with the little people. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, so I have clipboards here and pencils available. You can add some fun writing tools if you want. So that goes back there. Oh, animals. Animals are always fun. I lost the label for this one. I got these, you guys, at the Target dollar spot this summer. I was only able to find the zoo animals. I don't know if they had any others, but hey, it was like the tube set, T-O-O-B. It's that like that set that they sell in the craft stores. It's super expensive, like $20 a tube. This was three bucks um, in the Target dollar spot. So it has zoo animals. It has elephants and lions. You choose whatever animals you want, but animals are great because you can build um, enclosures for animals. Kids love, kids love animals naturally, but you can build enclosures for them. They naturally will build like little um, playscapes for them. They build trees for the monkeys to swing in. Uh, they'll build, you know, they'll use the blocks and different things to create habitats. Um, and this little set here is really cool because it has like little trees and little <laughs> fake rocks. Um, but yeah, 
<laughs> there's a hippo. Um, if you have any of the other sets, if they sold any others, let me know because then I'll go on the hunt for them. But I only was able to find um, a zoo set, but it is pretty cool. So you use whatever animals work best for you or that you have, farm animals, pets, and you can change the animals according to your units of study, whatever it is that you're learning about in your classroom. So when you do farm, you can change them to farm animals. And when you do pets, you can change them to pets and so forth. But find some animals you can put out there for the beginning of the year. So uh, I have animals, right? And people love animals. They play with each other. Um, <laughs> This one's kind of heavy. So I found these at the craft store. They're giant, flat, smooth rocks. And yes, if I went to a beach somewhere up north, I could probably find some like this, but I don't live there. So <laughs> I had to set up. We have no water where I am, um, other than the rain we've been getting. So these are flat rocks, and these are great for building. Um, kids can use these and I have some wood slices I'll show you as well and you can add letters and numbers to these if you want they're very flat they're very smooth and um, their little kids love natural objects so it's great to put some natural objects in your block center so I have these labels for you over in that Facebook group right um, and then also on each shelf I have the labels on the ends of the tubs, right? But I also have a matching label on the shelf and that helps with cleanup, right? To make cleanup go um, more smoothly. So we can have matching labels, um, one on the ends of the tubs and one on the shelf. Hey, my friend from Punxsutawney is here. I can't believe like she spells it correctly. Like every time I would be sitting there going, P, -U I mean, I seriously don't know how to spell it. Every time I see it, I'm like, who? <laughs> okay, these are sticks, as you can see, as evidence by the label on the end. These are sticks. Now they have been stripped of all sharp pieces. Honestly, I got them on Amazon and they are all pretty much the same length they're pretty close in length and they're not they don't have any sharp pokey edges they've all they've kind of been smooth but they're still natural and I got them on Amazon because um, we also don't have a lot of trees around here uh, it's Texas <laughs> so uh, I got a whole batch of these and they love these make great fences for the animals um, kids will use the rocks and the sticks to make fences and um, build log cabins, and they're great for retelling the three little pigs, right? So I have a bunch of sticks here. Yeah, so that adds nature into your block center. So there's a label on the end and a label on the shelf, and you can get the free labels in my free Facebook group, Preschool Teachers Are Superheroes. Okay, now the next thing I have on the top shelf well, I'll do this one next. I have my center sign. So I have these center signs in my pre-K pages store. If you're a member of the teaching tribe, you can just go and grab them right now. Um, but if you're not, you can grab them in my store. They're editable. The words are for the adults. And then you can insert pic the picture of your own center. So you take a photograph of it with your phone, right? You snap a quick picture and then you can insert the picture right into the document and now this part's for the kids so they can see the center they see what it looks like clean that's always a bonus so when you say clean up you have a visual to go with that and then the words are for the adults and the words tell us what the children are learning so this one says we are using the muscles in our hands in our bodies as they grip the blocks and the the, the rocks and the sticks and all the other things um, we're developing hand-eye coordination, practicing problem-solving skills, thinking creatively, and developing oral language and communication skills. Now this is editable, so if you needed to switch it to another language, you could do that. And of course, you take a picture of your own center there. So these are fully editable and available in the Pre-K Pages store, or if you're a member of the tribe, just go in and grab your copy in the vault right now. Okay, and there's also four different colors. I think I forgot to mention that. On the top shelf, we also have books. Okay, so there's the label on the end and this label is available. 
in the free center label pack in my free Facebook group. So it's kind of heavy. <laughs> um, I have all kinds of books about building and transportation. So I just collect my books from anywhere I can get them, whether that's garage sales or the your local library book sale or uh, half price books or whatever discount book supplier you have. And then of course, Scholastic and sometimes occasionally Amazon. So I have all, I love these books. These are Discovery Kids. I don't know if they still make these, but they have these great overlays on them. So you can like turn these clear pages and when you turn the clear page, it changes the way things look. Kids love these and they last forever. I've had this book forever. Um, so I've got some books about construction and I've got some books. These are from, I believe, from the Scholastic Book Order. I've got some books about transportation here, more construction, right? Um, roads, because we have roads in the uh, block center as well, right? We have, um, I have a little rug here. A lot of you probably have um, some kind of play rug in your block center, but if you don't, that's okay. I forgot to give Tom this link, but I actually, um, I use that road tape from the Target Dollar Spot. Uh, I also saw it at Five Below this week. And um, you can just put road tape on a piece of um, poster board and laminate it and you have your own little road system. Super cheap. Um, the tape is super cheap and a piece of poster board, you can get that at the Dollar Tree. So um, super fun. Um, Block City is another really awesome book. And a lot of times I will just go on Amazon and search um, in the uh, search box there and then I can ask my local library if they have any of those books. So yeah, this is Block City Activities Illustrations by Ann Beach. Okay. <laughs> Too many different, different contributing authors there. Um, let's see. I've got all kinds of books in here about building and transportation. I put a copy of Goodnight Construction Site in there because it's just an awesome book and I had an extra copy. <laughs> what kid doesn't love that? Um, building a house, just all kinds of books about building and construction and vehicles. Here's another one from Scholastic. Um, cars. Yeah, and this one has those pages like I was talking about, those clear view pages that change when you turn. Yeah, <laughs> super cool. Um, <laughs> Janelle says the Discovery Kids books are out of print. Bummer, but this one is very similar to it. This is extremely similar, only it doesn't have the hard cover on it. This one has those clear views. So whatever this series is, Scholastic First Discovery, that's and I got this book isn't that old so this came from the Scholastic book order so this series would replace that other one um let's see <laughs> do you put animals and transportation out together yes yeah, so I always keep the people there the people are always there because people can be everywhere right people are everywhere if we're at the airport if we're riding a train or a bus or in a car or, or subway, people are always there. So people are always in the block center. They never go anywhere. And then um, the animals, yes, I just change them out according to whatever it is we're learning about. We might put some polar animals in there in the winter, some farm animals, um, zoo animals, pets, whatever you have, but they're always there too. Um, now, I don't get the barn out, like if I'm doing farm, I don't get the big barn out until we do farm. And I don't get the big zoo out, like I have this big, like, um, rainforesty thing, I think from Fisher Price. I don't get that out until we do zoo. But um, just the animals, they kind of, there's always some kind of animal here. Okay, let me put the books up here. So I just collect books from all different sources, just so that I can have books about um, you know, that inspire them to build and create and all that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Do you rotate the books? You can. Um, so sometimes we're reading, you know, we have some unit of study that we're doing and there might be some transportation related things. And sure, 
Absolutely. I have books about transportation as well in my classroom library. These are just some that I've pulled to keep over here in the block center because it's definitely not as big as my class library. Okay, so that's the top shelf. And now I'm gonna move down to the second shelf. And the second shelf has, ooh, everybody's favorite. It always has cars because cars are everywhere, right? And people ride in cars. So the cars kind of go along with the people. And my little cars actually, um, I got them probably from the same garage sale, but my little people actually fit in my little cars. So they can actually sit in there because they have this little hole in the bottom there. So, um, so yeah, the cars are always here. So I just have a bucket of cars and there's the label. And so if you want the labels, they're in my free Facebook group. And I just have them all in there. I think I got these at some dollar store. And these came with my Melissa and Doug rug. My Melissa and Doug rug was on like um, lightning deal last year and it came with these four wooden cars. So I just have a smorgasbord of cars in there um, that they can use and they love to line them up. They love to uh, drive them on the roads. They love to put the people in them. Um, so yeah, these are always the people and the cars are always out. They don't go with any particular theme. They're just, they're part of building that whole oral language thing. And then along with um, the people and the um, cars, we have signs, right? And so this is a way to get environmental print into your block center and get some literacy in there. So I have this set is available for free on Pre-K Pages type in environmental print and it should be a post that pops up and it has um, signs for the block center I think is the name of it and so I have this this is a free printable so you can print the signs and then I just glued them to popsicle sticks and then I cut pool noodles up and stuck them in there um, they're definitely not like 100% stay up all the time so you can totally buy um, signs like this that are much sturdier but this was my DIY version because they're they're not cheap the ones that you get from the teacher store and so I just have a variety of different signs in there this is always a good one no parking <laughs> uh, we needed some of these today <laughs> when school started because it was a little crazy and then I found these I have a b bunch of these um, from the uh, Dollar Tree and they love to put these out and they drive their cars between the cones and pretend like they're racing. So these, I just have, they, they actually have these in a bunch of different colors and I just got all yellow, but yeah. So I have um, signs and cones and then we have labels as well. And on the shelf is a matching label. So yeah, these are the free labels available in, I believe these, I think I have maybe a different set, I'm not sure. But anyway, they're available in the free center labels pack in my Facebook group. Okay, <laughs> love the cone, says Victoria. Yeah, Dollar Tree is your friend. <laughs> yeah, okay. So then we have some leaves now leaves we know they die really quickly so <laughs> these are fake but the label is in the packet um, that you can have so there's a label on the tub and then a matching label on the shelf and then I just cut up a bunch of uh, a bunch of fake plants that I got um, I can't remember where I got this fake these fake plants probably some dollar store somewhere um, but I just cut them up and made them more manageable. And these are awesome because when they're building with like the um, the rocks and the sticks, they use these as coverings for like the roofs of the different structures. And um, they stick them like this to put the monkeys in and things like that. So yeah, um, these are great for building. Now they're not real though because, well, first of all, allergies. And second of all, um, we don't have a lot of green stuff here in Texas. <laughs> and if I did bring it inside, it wouldn't be green long. Uh, most things here are brown. Um, so then I'll put it back on the shelf with its matching label. And then over here, we have those wood slices. Somebody was asking about those in the comments just a little while ago. So I got these on Amazon, but you can get them um, at Hobby Lobby and other craft stores. These are wood slices. 
So it's an actual tree trunk or tree branch or whatever that has been sliced. And I got a giant bag of these for not very much. Um, I think I bought mine on Amazon. And in my block center post, Tom will drop a link for you um, to my block center post. Um, you can find a link to these there. I also have a blog post with all of my favorite block center books. I forgot to mention that. And then a post with all my bl favorite block center tools or supplies. And Tom will also drop a link to that or has already. Um, I got the sticks on Amazon. Like my answer to almost everything, like where do you get it, is usually <laughs> Amazon. Um, Tom, I don't think I put these in my Amazon store. I totally forgot to do that. So many things, right? Um, I know, buying sticks and wood slices and rocks from Amazon. <laughs> um, but these are great because they're thin. So like when they build, a lot of times they'll put this one flat and they'll put some sticks in between and then another one and you know, and they kind of connect them all. It's, it's really interesting to watch. But these are real. So just FYI, if you have any allergies, when I unpackage these, they came from Amazon, and when I unpackaged them, my allergies just went cuckoo because there was tree sap all over these. I had hives, it was crazy. I've let them sit out and air out. I probably should put them in the hot Texas sun for a while so that that sap would dry up. But these are these are the real deal. Like some somebody was out there with a chainsaw cutting this puppy up, so. Um, and I have a bunch of these. And then there's a label for these too. And again, you can get them at craft stores. You can get them on Amazon, whatever you prefer. Um, how do you attach the, oh, the, the labels are in these clear vinyl adhesive pockets that they sell at the Target dollar spot a couple times every year. So it's a pocket. Let me see if I can get this one out without dropping the bin. I laminated them so now they're hard to get out there we go so yeah there we go so it's a pocket I've laminated the labels and then I I attach the pocket to the end of the tub because it's adhesive on the back like a sticker I just peel off that and then they, they adhere really really well and then I stick the labels in there so all of the labels that are in my free label pack they are sized to fit these holders and so they're easy to change and then I cut a little notch in the top of them I don't think I did it on this one but a little teeny tiny notch that makes it easier to pull them in and out the kids can't get into these I can barely get into these um, but it makes it easier to change because we do change out the material in our centers um, and we do want to be able to rotate things and stuff so you can use these labels and yeah so I have a label on the end of the tub and then also on the shelf so when the kids put them away they have a place to match right okay let's see they have those pockets at Target absolutely they do um, <laughs> and then I forgot to show you this one. Um, I took it off the top shelf because it was squished up there, but I buy these at garage sales and these are indestructible because it's really important that when you have a bunch of kids in your classroom that you have to uh, toys and tools, materials that are durable. Um, because like, especially if you have an AM and a PM class, you know, like those toys really take a beating, don't they? They get played with by like 40 kids a day for like 180 days a year. They need to be like the most durable material in the world because if it can be broken these kids will break it it really should be just like you know a test for toy makers in the preschool classroom i'm sure they do that but um yeah this thing i got at a garage sale i've had it for 10 maybe more more than 10 years and they i've seen them sit on this thing like they hold it and like they'll sit on it and yeah it's really sturdy and it's a garbage truck i've never met a kid yet who doesn't like garbage trucks so um so yeah i just buy these at garage sales when i see them they probably don't make this one anymore because i like i said i've had it for a long time and it was already in a garage sale when i got it but i just shop you know resale whatever i can find because you know the truth is most schools don't supply us with what we need right so we have to do what we can and if i didn't buy this truck my kids wouldn't have it to play with so yeah 
yeah this is this is fisher price yeah fisher price <laughs> and it has the spot for the little um driver in here and so yeah i have the garbage truck driver actually but see the little people fit right in there <laughs> so i have the little people and little trucks they're really easy to find at garage sales because kids outgrow this kind of thing you know uh, once they get to a certain age they move into other things and so people get rid of the toys and so yeah um but i do like fisher price for that reason i have i have more stuff still cardboard blocks um so yeah these are i think are from melissa and doug and i had a set in my classroom for many years i got it at a garage sale from a retiring teacher bless those retiring teachers those are gold mines for the rest of us and um i got a set of these this is a new set um that one i had finally died but it 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 had withstood years of abuse like standing on jumping on they're very sturdy despite what you might think because they're cardboard um, but I do have a set of these and they're in the primary colors. I don't know if they make them in natural colors or not. I do like the red ones because we use them when we do Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, you know. Um, so they love to, to start building with them. Um, they'll start using them more when we do Humpty Dumpty. But I have a set of these. And then, oh, on the bottom shelf I have foam blocks. And if you work in Eckers, I know... Eckers is a prescriptive program and you have to have the shapes on the shelf and all that good stuff, but the rest of the world doesn't have to follow Eckers. So I find it to be a really quick and easy cleanup when we put the foam blocks in tubs. Now, if you are in an Eckers prescribed program, then you, I know that you have to have the shapes drawn on the shelf and all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. But if you don't have to worry about all those rules and regulations, um, they're in the tubs here. And so I have all the different shapes. There's spheres and triangles and rectangles and squares and all that good stuff. So I have them sorted by color just because that's, that's the way they came. And it makes cleanup go really quick and easy. So I just, and these are from Lakeshore, I believe. Um, yeah, I got them on sale one year. Sometimes if you have a store near you, sometimes you can get like seconds or discontinued items. And that's what these were. Um, and you can, uh, the only reason I got them on seconds was because if you look at the green ones, I think you can tell the green was, all the greens are kind of a different green color. Like this one is like a dark green, but this one is a light green. <laughs> and so they were considered seconds and I got them for super cheap. And yes, they do get bite marks. I'm sure there's some, this one has bite marks all over it. <laughs> it's like they're beavers sometimes, um, but yeah. So they do get bite marks on them, but I have them all in tubs. I have the yellow ones over here too. And then I have, uh, those labels are also in the free pack. If you have the foam, um, the foam blocks like I do. Um, and other makers sell them as well. Other um, other companies make foam blocks. Okay, what else have I missed? Um, yeah, these are the hollow blocks. I already talked about those. I have a list here, so I won't forget. Um, all the wood blocks. I have a set of those, but they're, um, they're these natural wood blocks, and so they're in these natural shapes. They're really cool. They're not out here right now. I didn't have room on the shelf tonight, so those will be something I rotate in and out. But they um, they kind of follow like a tree trunk and a branch and that kind of thing. But they're very very smooth and they're heavy. I don't I don't have any idea who makes them. I don't even have them out here for you. But um, they're really cool, and um, those are kind of like what I use as the wood unit blocks. Okay. All right, and I talked about the road tape, the people, the animals, the vehicles, and the road signs. Hey, y'all. Um, how do you clean the foam blocks? The foam blocks really aren't very cleanable. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Become a daycare and a bargain shopper. Yeah. Dollar spot or the section with back to school. I don't shop in that back to school section. Everything that I mentioned that I get from Target's from the dollar spot. Yes, oops, sorry. I clicked on something. Um, the entire, so I have several tours of my classroom. So 
Um, if you go to the videos section of the Facebook page, that's where you are now, the Pre-K Pages Facebook page. If you go to the videos section, if you're on mobile, you swipe over at the very top and it shows you the different um, sections there. Videos is one of those sections. And if you type tour in the box there on that videos tab, you'll find the different classroom tours I've done where I take you on a tour of the whole classroom so you can see it at a bigger angle. Um, Oh, Alyssa says they make the foam blocks in natural colors, but a different brand. Yeah, I've never seen those before. Um, yes, these blocks are a pain to put together, but once you put them together, they stay together for life. You are right. Yeah, it's not a um, like do it really quick in an hour thing. Like it's it's a project. Like yeah, plan a weekend for that. But yeah, they they are very sturdy. Uh, Maria, does your school district provide these resources? The answer is no. The short answer, no. <laughs> the school district provides very little, if anything. Um, so yeah, all of these resources are mine. Um, when I worked in the public school, we had um, provided for us wooden unit blocks, some tables, some chairs, and some shelves. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Anything else was supplied by us. So yeah. Uh, and that's why we shop at the dollar spot. Uh, the clear tubs, I believe, are discount school supply. Um, I can't stand those primary colored tubs because first of all, they give me a headache. Second of all, I think kids um, are more drawn to things that they can see and they can see through these bins. That kind of gives them like a glimpse or a sneak peek. And I feel like those primary colored bins hide what's inside and often kids don't, you would think that kids would find stuff, you know, but sometimes they don't think to look inside stuff. Um, like I have one of those shelving units or I used to have one that, um, you know, it has like 36 tubs like this and you have to pull them out. And when they were primary colored, um, my kids in my classroom didn't even know that they came out until I sat them down and showed them that was a center and they could pull them out. Like they need to see this, in my opinion, they need to see this sneak peek. I don't have any research behind that. It's just my personal experience from 20 years in the classroom. I just really feel like this is, um, it, it, it doesn't add to the noise of all the color and it gives them a sneak peek and entices them to look inside the tub which you think they would do, but they actually don't always. Um, but discount school supply, short answer. Um, uh, somebody was talking about the oil drip pans. I hear that Walmart's not carrying them anymore, but any of the automotive supply stores, you know, uh, there's so many, O'Reilly and all those others, um, they'll have them there as well. I can't promise that they are as cheap, um, you know, but they do. Uh, do you think this is too young for kindergarten? I certainly don't. Um, yeah, no, I don't think it's too young for kindergarten at all. I think they need to have this. The research is very clear on what kids need to be successful readers. Um, and those things are concepts of print. I'm not going to go into the whole thing, but uh, concepts of print and oral language are two of the two of the four factors that determine future reading success. And the Block Center is going to help with both oral language and con concepts of print because you've got your environmental print, you've got your, your clipboards I showed you, you've got all the labels, so many benefits. It's not in, in not only that, but the problem solving and the um, interactions with others, it's so many benefits that I do not think, oh, eh, I hope I didn't ban somebody. It just, uh, okay. I'm just going through the comments now. Uh, da, da, da. Thanks, Jen. Christmas tree lot. Ooh. I gotta go back and see what that was about. <laughs> Di says she loves your work, Tom. <laughs> He's the best link dropper ever, right? Um... Yay. The name of the Facebook group is Preschool Teachers are Superheroes. Yes, and that's where the labels live. So yeah, the labels I've been talking about, you can get those for free in the um, Preschool Teachers are Superheroes Facebook group. So let me tell you how to get them. So, cause when you get there, you might be like, okay, where are they? Um, so if you join the Facebook group, once you get in, you have to answer the questions to be approved. So make sure you answer the questions. 
And then look, if you're on desktop, look on the left side of your screen once you're in the group, look for units, click on units, and then scroll to freebies. And then I have a bunch of freebies in there. I have my rainbow teacher planner, that's a freebie. And I have the center labels, the editable center labels are in there. So yeah, um, do that. And if you're on mobile, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you wanna access it on mobile, but you can, um, you have to, at the top, of the Facebook group, there's like a little tiny thing that not a lot of people see, but it'll say like um, files and it'll say um, discussion and it'll say some, you know, it has these little different, these words at the top and just scroll through to, until you get to units. Uh, files is one of them, but go to units and all the freebies are in the freebie section. Just scroll down there. So that's how you get them once you join the Facebook group. But you have to answer those questions first um, so that we know that you're not a spammer. <laughs> we have to keep the group safe. So that is the tour of my block center. I'm sure the minute I get off the air, I will say, I forgot to show them this. Uh, something will come up because it always does. But in the meantime, um, don't forget, you can visit the link to the block center book list. So we have a list of books that you might want to use. You can use those books to introduce the block center. You can use those books um, throughout the year to reference the Block Center. Your kids can look at those books. You have to model how to do that. And then um, we have the link to my favorite Block Supplies, Block Center Supplies, like the tools and toys, some of them that you see here. And then we have uh, the Center Signs. There's a link to that in the comments as well, the editable Center Signs. And then we have um, the center labels are in the Facebook group. I can't remember what else, but Tom has dropped links to all of them because I give I gave them all to him in advance. If you want to see more pictures or read more about my block center, I have a whole blog post about it um, on Pre-K Pages. So we serve teachers three different ways here at Pre-K Pages. The first way is the kind of the DIY self-serve, and that's going to Pre-K Pages. You can um, buy products in our store. You can look at our blog post. You can pin all that good stuff. You're welcome to do that 24-7, 365. Those, for those of you who like to DIY it. If you wanna go deeper into any of the blog posts or you wanna ask questions about any of the products, then, then our free Facebook group is the second level of service we offer to teachers. So it's a free Facebook group. We have more than 30,000 members and it's called Preschool Teachers Are Superheroes. So in that group, um, that's the second way that we serve teachers, by being there to help support, guide, and encourage. The third way that we serve teachers is in the Teaching Tribe, which is our premium membership site for teachers just like you, teachers of preschool, pre-K, kindergarten, Head Start, in-home child care, and more. And in the Teaching Tribe, which is now open, by the way, today's the day, ah, um, It's we only open twice a year. If you wanna get in this school year, now is your chance. We have 20, 300, I think at last count, 2,300 teachers just like you who are teaching better, saving time and living more over in the teaching tribe. And we do that, we help teachers do that in the teaching tribe by offering them access 24 seven to all of the paid printables from pre-K pages at their fingertips. It's called the Teaching Resource Vault and you can go in and download anything you want at any time. It's a $1,059 value and it grows in value every month when we add new printables. So in addition to all of the printables at the Teaching Tribe, it's not just printable paradise. It is a printable paradise, but it's not just about the printables because you don't just need printables to help you teach better, save time, and live more. You need high quality training to go with those printables. So in addition to the printables, we have more than 40 hours of on-demand training, which we like to call PD and your PJs. So you can go in and watch whatever you want, whenever you want it. It's just there on demand at your fingertips. In addition to all of the printables, and the on-demand video trainings. We also have our supportive community of new and veteran teachers, a safe haven for asking and answering questions. In addition to all of that, we also have our, our self-paced book studies. Right now we're reading Growth Mindsets for Better Be- Oh, we're reading Teach Skills and Break Habits, Growth Mindsets for Better Behavior in the Classroom by Dan St. Romain. All of our book studies are self-paced, so you can read them at any time and join in the discussions. And of course, we have access in the Teaching Tribe to all of the goodies from the Sword of Success Summit. It's 20 hours or 21 hours of training and all kinds of uh, goodness there. 
in the sort of from the sort of success summit video recordings audio recordings handouts you name it so if you would like to start teaching better saving time and living more this year then you're going to want to uh, join the teaching tribe now let me scroll up because now i had scrolled down and i want to just um, make sure i didn't miss anything critical uh, pd in your pjs says christy she hearts the teaching tribe Yay, Lisa Howell, teach, a lot of Teaching Tribe members in the house tonight. Awesome. <laughs> I love this site so much, says Diane. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, Diane. Thank you for joining us. Um, let's see. What's on your block center floor? I have a Melissa and Doug rug right here, right now. Just a Melissa and Doug rug. I love how that rhymes. I'm going to say it again and again. Melissa and Doug Rugg. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, yeah, so if you see something behind me, it's in my store. Yes, this daily schedule is in my store. Just look for daily schedule. It's editable, so you can type it in any language. Um, the oil drip pan behind me is used for my circle time. So I have, um, I have my question of the day on there. I have my classroom helpers. Um, yeah, you, if you go and uh, look in the video section of the Pre-K Pages Facebook page, uh, I've done videos in front of that one before. So I'll be back with more center tours throughout the year, uh, just like this, because I have a big project I'm working on. All right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching tonight, and I hope that if you haven't started back to school yet, that you have a great evening and um, enjoy. And I am Vanessa Levin from Pre-K Pages, coming at you live from Dallas, Texas, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.